top of the morning, a very good morning to ladies, um, Professor Shaista Shamim, uh, Professor Mbamba, and of course, Dr. Rossi. It's wonderful to talk to you on this Monday morning. How are you all doing? Probably start with the Professor Shaista. How are you doing this morning? I'm fine, thank you very much. Uh, it's lovely to be on your program, and I'm delighted to be with these wonderful ladies as well. Yeah, uh, Professor Mbamba. Thank you, Mavis. It's really, really wonderful to be on this program with you and the ladies, uh, lovely ladies, uh, powerhouses in their own way. Very, very nice to be part of this. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Rossi, a familiar face on breakfast. Professor <laughs> Shamim and Professor Nambombo Mbamba, it's wonderful to, to also collaborate and work with you ladies in um, speak with you all this morning. Now, we're talking about some very important issues, transforming universities for a changing climate project, and of course, on the breakfast show this morning. And just before that, I, what just came to mind, ladies, was um, I was trying to make reference to, of course, the University of uh, uh, Professor Shaisa Shamim, the Acting Vice Chancellor of the University of Fiji, and uh, Professor Nambobo Bamba, Dean College of Humanities and Education, Fiji National University. And of course, Dr. Rossi, um, who's uh, no, the uh, research project uh, uh, and of course, deputy head of school of Pacific Arts, Communications and uh, Education of the University of the South Pacific. And I'd like to call it, I know that um, in the big three is often a reference to the top three universities in America, but this is our big three in the, in the South Pacific. So thank you very much, ladies, for um, joining me this morning. Uh, maybe I'd like to start off with you, Dr. Rossi, if you can kindly just introduce um, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the project. Thank you, Mavis. Uh, uh, the project is a, is a three-year uh, uh, program that's funded by the um, GCRF, or the Global Challenges uh, Research, uh, Research Fund, that's, uh, that's uh, uh, coordinated by the United Kingdom Research and Innovation. And the main uh, uh, agenda of this, um, this uh, project is to support local action on climate change. Um, actually, there are other countries that are involved, Brazil, Kenya, and Mozambique, uh, and uh, Fiji is the fourth uh, country, and, um, and uh, we are very happy and uh, uh, delighted that uh, the two universities um, uh, are supporting us and collaborating with us on this, uh, on this uh, project. Mm. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rossi. I'll start with uh, you, Dr. Um, Professor Shamim. You know, what does this, um, you know, what does being involved in this research project maybe, you know, mean um, to the university and the benefits uh, for it, for the uh, University of Fiji? Thank you, Mavis. And it's uh, delightful to be together with these uh, three ladies who are going to be really leading the project um, and supervising it because the students are mostly involved in it. But, you know, it needs some oversight and they will be providing it. And I'm really delighted to be in the in company of such uh, prestigious, uh, you know, ladies to do the, the particular project for the, for the University of Fiji. Um, we had often thought about what we're going to be doing uh, with respect to environmental, uh, environmental concerns. And, you know, living in the West, or uh, most of the, the University of Fiji is mostly in the West, um, and it's also, of course, in lockdown at the moment, it's very difficult to think about what we might do to be able to assist. And so Dr. Lange's project came at the right time. It, uh, it brought us to a situation where we're thinking not only that we can make a contribution, but actually we can do it in collaboration with the other two universities as well. Not just at the staffing level, but actually more importantly at the student level, because we've got to think about the next generation of, of people as well, of, of, uh, of citizens of Fiji. So we were very pleased, but of course we had to think about our own specific project. And, and we wrecked our brains for a long time and we thought, well, what can we do that will be you know, allow all of the schools of the university, all of the programs of the university to, to participate in it so that everybody can collaborate. And so we came up with the Drua uh, project and, and the Drua is actually the Drua, it's not just a symbol. There is a Drua and the students will be learning how to build it and how to sail it and how to do navigation from it, the traditional um, celestial navigation from it. But they will also be visiting the coastal villages to see how traditional forms of conservation 
can be recorded. So, you know, because we, when we talk about climate change, it's usually things that are imposed on us from the Western societies. And so what we needed to do was make sure that we valued the traditional ways of looking at how to cons conserve the environment, and particularly the coastal areas. So the Drua basically will be sailing around the villages, you know, where the university um, is and in Bunda, but also a couple of the Mamanudha Islands and the villages and recording traditional ways of conserving the coastal areas so that, you know, we can uh, help with uh, knowledge about uh, climate change issues. Mm. Uh, Professor Mbamba, may I direct the same question at you, what this means for um, the Fiji National University? Thank you, Mavis. I'd like to thank uh, Professor uh, Shaista Shamim for her contribution, lovely. Uh, Dr. Langi, um, thank you for allowing us, FNU and UniFiji, we're really excited to be on this. What does it mean for FNU? As you know, we are only in our 11th year now. Our strategic plan, 2021-26, is only our second strategic plan. So we believe really in ambition and opportunity. This is a good opportunity. And our strategic plan expects us to, to do partnerships. We believe in the new normal. FNU cannot do anything by its own. So I am so more than elated to see the, the three of you this morning, because uh, while USP is our mother university in the region, and it does play a very significant role to bring all of us together, Rosie, thank you. UniFiji provides a very interesting model because in a way they are private, but they are very focused and I, I believe I, I can almost put it together with the very fine, uh, good universities all over the world that are very focused on specific agenda and really focusing on excellence. So for FNU to partner with the two sisters universities, it is part of our strategic plan. It is part of our values. We believe in care, honesty, accountability, service, and excellence. We are going to Bungale. So to, 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 to pair with the University of Fiji, they are doing the water, the ocean. We are doing the bushes. So here we go, Madam Bush. So, you know, uh, in my study, you will see a bit of Wungale. Those baskets, wild baskets, are from Wungale. Uh, they are women's wealth because the basket referred to how women and the hands of women uh, protect, nurture, guide the environment. So in terms of climate, uh, change. We have an interdisciplinary center, but you know we we've been focusing a lot, uh, Professor Shamim and Rosie, on 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 uh, social aspects of it. So, Rosie's uh, bringing this to us at FNU, uh, for you know enforces the idea that you know we are going to a community, not only the sciences but also working with communities, uh, like Dr. Shamim is, uh, Professor Shamim has said, to 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 kind of address. Uh, their problems of water. Focusing in Wungale, we're focusing on their water source. You know, the forest being uh, because of deforestation, because of uh, also reforesting with pine, it has dried some table that has been a water source. So we are taking scientists from Uni Fiji and FNU to, to work together so that we can address the three universities working together to address our local problem of this. Um, you can call <laughs> and they are young uh, the team is really young and energized ready to go with the other two universities to, to work with their water project but also to dovetail that with some uh, food security as well as focusing in on um, highlighting the importance of uh, women because women in Vungale they look after the water systems mm. as in the story of the two women are uh, who traditionally are the women that guide the water, protect the water. And um, Shamim, this is not a joke. Uh, Mavis, uh, I think the listeners would uh, appreciate that. They, I, I, I am supposed to be descended of that, the two water women. Mm. Yeah. Well, ironic. Back to you, <laughs> Very lovely. <laughs> thank you, thank you very, very much, uh, Professor Mbamba. Now, Rossi, um, Dr. Rossi, I'm just, I'm just um, uh, wondering: is this the first time a research project of this magnitude has the three universities working together? So, uh, yes, and uh, and uh, and um, 
And one of the one of the main uh, themes uh, on this project is climate justice. And I'm sure Professor Shamim and uh, Professor Nambombo Mamba know what it means. You know, it's uh, the um, the bottom line is that everyone, irrespective of age, uh, culture, uh, cultural background, or wherever you are, you must be able to have access to this information. We must be able to exchange this information to be able to um, ensure that our communities are climate ready and are able to, uh, and, and consequently, we are able to uh, reduce um, uh, risks and damages uh, that, uh, that will be brought about by climate change. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, by climate change. And we are so very fortunate because USP can't do it alone. To reach the mass of our population, we need everyone to be working together. And I'm so very delighted as well uh, to be part of this uh, project with, uh, with the two sister universities. Awesome. And of course, the media um, in, in ensuring that uh, our stories are visible and heard by members of our communities. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rossi. Uh, Professor Shamim, if I can just ask you, how does the university hope to be transformed? And, and what are the university's role in, in transforming communities? Well, one of the most important um, aspects of our strategic plan um, is that we've got to have uh, community engagement. So we're involved in teaching, we're involved in research, and the third aspect um, is, you know, in fact, more even more important, and that is to, to know what your community is like, and this is why we're focusing this on our community, which is in Vunda. So, so you know, the University of Fiji is located formally in the, you know, just very, very formally in that area, and we have a very good uh, relationship with the traditional owners. So we're going to be using their wisdom as well and asking them to participate in this. And one of the things I didn't mention was that, and something that I have wanted to do for a very long time, and I think we're well placed to do it with this project, is record traditional medicine as well. So uh, Professor Bamba had actually referred to women's knowledge. Mm -hmm. And it's usually medicine is, uh, traditional medicine is usually women's knowledge. So there will be teams of our students working on different things. So there'll be a team that's involved in sailing, learning how to sail the drua and building a drua as well. There'll be another team um, looking at patents, like how to not just record medicines, but also patent them. Because intellectual property about indigenous medicine and traditional knowledge in medicine is something that is really just at its early stages right now um, mm -hmm. and so we want to do that so the law students will be involved in that the business students will be involved in and in putting up business plans uh, for conservation and the science students will be involved in the scientific aspects of navigation and other things and so the, the entire and education of course as a, as a broader field too in traditional education so the whole university is going to be involved in it so that's how it's going to transform the university we will be working as a community first within the university as well but also then engaging with our community that lives around us and not just in terms of the coastal areas but going out into the closest Mamanuthra Islands, because the Drua won't be able to sail too far, and there's a time factor involved, but also going to the closest Mamanuthra Islands to also get involved with whatever the community is doing, and perhaps helping to build uh, mm -hmm. seawalls, you know, I mean, this is a real practical thing for students. Students tend to sit in libraries and, you know, just be looking at books in their computer. We want them to get out and help the community regenerate itself if it needs it, but also learn from the community too. So it's a two-way process. That's how it's going to transform us. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Professor Shamim. Um, Professor Anambongo Mbamba, would you say the same for, for your university? Correct, correct. We also have, a, in, in addition to Professor Shamim, we take the same pattern. Uh, we also have a food scientist in FNU, formerly of USP, and uh, she, she's going to come along to look at how uh, women and uh, young people, youth and men, of course, because, you know, the men important as well, but she's interested in how, um, you know, in Wungale, the FNU focal point, the, they don't really like to eat uh, breadfruit. So we, you know, we are hoping that we will help uh, each other, us and them, in terms of bringing our students, in terms of bringing our, our different strengths of staff, not only from FNU, from USP, because Rose has done a lot of that herself, and 
Professor Shamim as well. We are going to work and bring together all our strengths. In Vungale, there's need uh, for the, the food. Eh? It's the food security, Mavis. Uh, we're hoping that uh, Dr. Chime Malako will influence uh, those who don't want to eat their uto to, 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 to show them how to turn it into flour and have it like roti. Because in Vungale, mm. we like our roti. Would you believe it? So we are the, the kingdom that does that. So, <laughs> honestly, so they won't eat the breadfruit, but they will eat the roti. So, you know, more than uh, like further to what Professor Shamim said, we also, uh, you know, and that is to share, that's expertise to share across the universities. Uh, she's been doing work in that in Lao, uh, Professor uh, Dr. Chimai Malako. So she's been doing um, organic food, eh? natural food out of the idea. So it's been, um, she has also a coffee shop that, uh, that does natural products. So uh, she's done that at USB. And now she's with us at FNU. So we are open uh, to, to share our resources in this. But like what Professor Shamimi said, we are a river environment that we are trying to look after. So we are excited to go on the draw. But when you come to Hungle, you are on the river. <laughs> and we are climbing a few forest areas. So <laughs> yeah. a really good balance. And our students, just like Professor Shamim said, our students will be involved in all these things that we will do. Eh? So in reviving and enhancing the water system system for drinking, in looking after the river that is caving into the village with scientific help. And maybe uh, we also will have diggers dig through the village to get the water out. And the, the food security aspect, the veg vegetable plots, the, mm. the workshops that run with that, we are going to involve our students and staff. Mm. And uh, we are looking forward to also uh, going with Rosie and Professor Shamim in these various settings. Thank you, Mavis. Back Thank to you. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Baba. It's so exciting to hear. It is. It is. We can't wait to go. Involving all your oh, students man. in this. And yes, what better yes. way to spread awareness than have your students go in themselves and, and, and uh, yes. you know, participate. Um, yes. Dr. Rossi, would you like to add something more? Yes. Oh, uh, well, uh, Mavis, uh, the, um, the, the research project is in two parts. So we have the survey where we, um, uh, we um, uh, find out from our students about climate change education, their perspective, you know, what's already there, uh, what are they doing, and what can, uh, can be done to, to improve uh, what's already been done. Um, and the second part is the participatory action research, which, you know, everyone is involved in, not just the students, um, but also our community members, uh, the, the university, different. the three universities, and uh, also stakeholders. Eh? Uh, and when, in saying stakeholders, we also include the government mm -hmm. because they will be assisting us uh, with uh, seeds and, and, uh, and other technical uh, advice. And, um, and so, you know, this, is, uh, this project is for everyone, by everyone, for everyone. So we are, we are really excited and I'm so grateful um, that uh, the, the two sister universities are coming on board and uh, assisting us uh, with this. And the bottom line is it's our people's um, lives uh, that are st uh, at stake due to climate change. So we are here to help transform the minds of our people as well as transform our communities uh, so that we can have a more resilient and sustainable one. And who better to do than that, that than the big three? <laughs> Professor <laughs> um, <laughs> Shamim, um, ladies, yeah. if I can just ask you to just, you know, uh, share um, a few more words before we wrap up our uh, Zoom session this morning. Sure. So uh, thank you very much. My, my, this is the last word I'd forgotten to mention earlier on, is that we're going to film this whole project for ourselves so that it's a proper like it will be a proper documentary not just a you know recording which we would normally do by way of um, participatory research that Dr. Langi mentioned. Um, so we're going to make a documentary out of it that we will then enter into the international film festivals because that's awesome. really important climate change is at the top of everyone's list right now and to have a 20 minute video made by professionals is something that we really want to do and also it's great for posterity because you know even if we've finished with the project we've written our 
final project report and so on and you know people have gone and it's forgotten whereas if it's there's a film record then it's at least in the archives somewhere and somebody will bring it out in the future and say oh those people were great ancestors because they helped to pre pre you know preserve the environment so to be a good ancestor is really about the bottom of this even though you know it's not talking about next generation but it's talking about five or six or seven or eight generations in the future that they can look back and say oh these guys really tried to help to conserve the environment, which is really deteriorating at the time. It's almost like we have no control over it because it's other countries with carbon emissions and so on that have control, but we're the ones who are suffering the effects of it. So what are we doing in terms of trying to get the local knowledge and the traditional knowledge to be able to conserve that? That is the, that's the thing. And I think there's a real good value added aspect to this to be able to record it in the right way. So uh, apart from that, uh, Mavis, I just wanted to show the, the symbol of the, you know, the project for ourselves and I've already shared it with the other two wonderful ladies. I'm sure they won't mind it if we just bring that on if you can. And no worries, we shall. There you go. We haven't been able to see it, but anyway, I'm sure you have. Yes, yes. <laughs> we can see it. All right. Okay, well, it's great if that will, the people will see it. So, you know, the ladies have got a copy of it as well. So everyone has. So that's going to be the symbol of our particular project, but we are in unison with the other two as well. So it's going to be a fantastic, uh, like I think Dr. Lange mentioned, that this has not been done before. And uh, it's interesting that the women are driving it, of course. Um, that's the best part of it, you know, that you've got these strong women of the Pacific who are looking at this and driving it and also having the um, innovations, you know, the thought about behind it as well. And then leading the students, because as I said, the students are the next generation. So all of us are like minded on that. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Shamim. Um, Professor Mbamba. Um, when Rosie talked about this and talked about Professor Shamim uh, Mavis, mm -hmm. I was really excited. Um, um, I, I, I know that what Rosie touches is positive. So now that I've met Professor Shamim and her team, I'm very excited, more than excited. The best part of it is really documentation for our future generations. In the site that FNU has selected, uh, is going to be part of this, now we voy. Uh, that is women's wealth, women's knowledge. Without voy voy, uh, you know, the soil is not protected, the river goes away. That is one art that is also an income generating uh, capacity, has that. So yeah, uh, like what Professor Shamim has said, I think our Takia Rosi is certainly set sail today uh, in Vumile because we are forested and we are very uh, place-based uh, landed. Um, it's going to perhaps look like the uh, the women's uh, farming stick. It's called Naindoko. So maybe the Indoko or the digging stick. Uh, and our Vumile basket, which is, uh, you can see, is part of my study. Um, mm -hmm. Is, is, is going to be part of this. So yeah, reviving of traditional knowledge that has capacity for the future. But I like the film one, uh, Professor mm -hmm. Shamim. We probably work together on that as well with yeah. Rosie. Uh, we, have a film, uh, we have a film unit in my college. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a lot of potential. And of course, Mavis as our partner, yeah. we'll get uh, her strength <laughs> in too. Thank you. Yeah. We are so looking forward at FNU. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much, ladies. I'm so excited for the three universities. Uh, and of course, uh, I can say this, when all of you put your um, heads and hands and students together on this, it certainly will turn into gold. And we're looking forward to that. <laughs> Amen Thank to you very that. much, ladies. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes, we are. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Professor Shamim and Professor Thank Mama, you. it's been wonderful talking to you this morning. You all have a wonderful day and we look forward to talking to you more in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mother Manda, everyone. Mother Manda, all. Binak.